welcome back to the channel. First of all, I want to congratulate all of you who have passed the FPGE exam this year. From the bottom of my heart, congratulations, you guys. And this video is going to be particularly for you and, and also for anybody who's just wondering what steps to take after passing the FPGE exam. So if you're wondering whether to hop on and take on an internship program and go ahead and finish your internship first, or whether you should start studying for NAPLEX and MPJE already and do the internship um, in the end. I also get a lot of questions on my Instagram, that's MedNerdyGram, asking me if I have already completed my internship and how was the internship, how you can land an internship, etc, etc. So the reply to that question would vary state by state because as you know the laws over here vary state by state here in the US but Speaking of the state, Texas, where I am in, the laws over here are pretty firm when it comes to internships. So speaking of Texas, you once you pass your FPGE exam and you obtain your FPGE certificate, you can in fact go ahead, go ahead and hop on to do an internship, but there are two criteria that follows. One, you have to be applying for the internship within six months of passing your FPGE exam, and second, if you opt on to the internship after like passing the FPGE exam, and fulfill the first criteria and you apply within the six months of passing your FPGE exam, now you will have six months in total to pass your NAPLEX and MPJE exam. This was the main reason I didn't opt for the internship in the first place because I knew I wouldn't be able to rush things like that. But I have seen people who have in fact passed NAPLEX and MPJ both while doing the internship within the six months period that's provided here in Texas. It varies state by state and not and the law might not be the same in your state. So I would very much encourage you to go ahead and call your state board. That's not National Boards of Pharmacy who are going to be dealing with this thing, but your state board. So let's say you're in North Carolina, you're supposed to call the state of North Carolina, or let's say you're in uh, California, you'll have to call the state board of California. You just have to type it out on Google and they, they should be able to guide you the best answer. There's also a little change in the um, credit hours that are required for internships. So the last time I spoke to the Texas board, they have moved the bar from 1,500 credit hours all the way to 1,700 credit hours. So if you do the math and you divide 1,700 by 40, that's 40 hours a week, that's a full-time job, you get somewhere around 42.5. That's going to be 42.5 weeks. Now we need to calculate how many weeks in a year that's going to be 12 months multiply by four weeks in a month that brings you down to a total of 48 weeks so if you do the maths um, you're probably going to be working full-time as an intern for about an year to make up to the requirements of 1700 credit hours in order for you to like move further down the road of becoming a licensed pharmacist here in the US. This is not to scare you but I'm just trying to set up the bar because I have seen people who have been working part-time and they take like two years, three years down the road just to complete that internship. So, so if you're somebody who is willing to do a full-time um, internship uh, with studies and if you are in Texas you're more than welcome to do it if you think you are somebody who can pass the NAPLEX and MPJ within six months of time uh, while working full-time as an intern in the state of Texas you're more than welcome to do that and if you're somebody who's viewing this video from any other state make sure you contact your state boards because uh, they have pretty different laws over here and I don't want to be um, getting you guys confused about it. This is just to give you an idea of how actually it works. Thank you so much for watching this video. Congratulations if you're somebody who has just passed their FPGE exam. I wish you all the best for your future. If this video provided you any value, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and also um, follow me on Instagram. That's metnerdygram and I will see you guys again next time in the next video. Peace.